What's good YouTube? This is the Wise Bro. I'm back at it again, you guys. Today we're gonna be talking about the Project Rock 60 duffel bag. Stay tuned by Dwayne Johnson, one and only rock. So stay tuned, you guys. This review is gonna be off the chain. That's all I gotta say. Stay tuned. All right, we have the Project Rock 60 duffel bag, you guys, and this bag is so well made. I'm telling you guys, Under Armour really did a good job this time making this bag. Uh, it has a lot of compartments in it, you guys. Uh, I picked this up at the mall a couple days ago, and uh, I haven't used it yet, but I'm going to be using this really, really soon. Uh, it was a great purchase. I actually got it on sale at the store uh, in the mall. Look at this price, you guys. I, I think you guys are going to be loving it. Look at that. It was normally 89 or 80 bucks. I got it for 59.97. Actually, I got it for 30 because it had a 50, it was uh, I think 40% off or 50% off on the actual price in red. So this was a very good buy. Under Armour has good deals from time to time. And I would really recommend if you want a nice bag, a nice gym bag, something that is functional, something that you can take with you in any type of weather, whether it's raining, whether it's snowing, whatever the environment, this is the greatest bag I'm telling you right now. So anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the meat and potatoes of the Under Armour Rock 60 duffel bag. All right, here we go, you guys and gals. Here is the Under Armour Project Rock 60 gym bag. It's also a duffel bag. Uh, this color here is blue, maybe blue or blue. And uh, this bag is well constructed, people. This bag is well constructed. It's a heavy canvas material, as you can see here. Okay, heavy canvas material, which uh, these bags don't really rip that easy. When you have a canvas type material, it's not easy to rip. Uh, you can put a lot of things in this bag and it'll hold up really, really well. So um, it's got some really, really nice features here. Let me just show you the straps here on the back. Let me flip it around. And also look at the embroidery here. Really, really nice. Uh, I really like the embroidery. It's nothing cheap. It's not gonna peel off right away or anything like that. So I really like the fact that they put it in the back here and uh, it's in the nice area where it won't really peel off or anything like that. So uh, home of the brave, okay? And this is the Rocks uh, brand, okay? But these straps here, um, these are heat gear shoulder straps and they're padded, okay? So as you can see, got a lot of padding to it and of course the stitching on this is is it's insane it's crazy I really love the stitching on this I don't see any threads that are hanging off so that's a good sign to me that the bag was uh, put together well and constructed very well uh, they took the time and the stitching and the details to make this really stand out and uh, they did a really 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 good job these straps are adjustable as you can see here okay and these are uh, these metal hardware straps here, okay, they're metal. These little straps right here are metal, okay, they're not plastic. So these are gonna hold up really, really well. You're not gonna have any issues with these breaking off. You know, a lot of the bags that they have nowadays, school bags or any other bags, any other gym bags, normally these are plastic. These are the cheapest part of the bag that they try to save the cost on. And as you can see, Under Armour did not cut corners. Of course, Dwayne Johnson <laughs> did not cut corners and he wanted the best for his product. So uh, these are metal. So if you're wondering what these are, these are not plastic, these are metal and they're very, very uh, strong and sturdy. And of course you can adjust the bag as you need be on both sides. And I mean, it's pretty insane, man. This is this is really, really comfortable. I have it, and when you put it on your back, you're gonna feel it, you're gonna feel the difference in the comfort level. And it's, it's really made to last, okay? Uh, the next part here, um, I'm gonna go ahead and flip this back around to the front part of the bag, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and show you here. Now, here we have the zipper on the, uh, the bag. As you can see, it's uh, constructed really, really well. And as you can see from the seal here, it's uh, waterproof lining, okay? And they made this bag uh, specifically for people that are very active, that are traveling, uh, sports, and so forth. So you're gonna be sweating, there may be some rain, there may be some snow. This bag will hold up, it will not get any leaks in it. And of course, I mean, anything that's out in the environment long enough, of course will start to leak but off the cut off the top this bag's gonna hold up and uh, like I said it's got the seals here to prove it okay it's got the seals here to prove it so I really like the zipper here okay nice uh, zipper here and it's very very easy to move along okay so you're not gonna have any troubles with it snagging or anything like that 
which is what I love about this bag. Okay, this is the zipper. And then you have this little, like say this O-ring here. Um, I really love this little ring here. Fabulous ring. And you can put a lot of things on this little uh, ring here. So let me go ahead and open up the bag now and show you inside. Um, there's quite a few compartments in here. Uh, this compartment here has a Velcro um, piece on here. I don't too much like this a little bit because you know, as, as you know, um, Velcro, when you have it, it will start to detach from whatever material you have. So I'm not too keen on this, but it's it's pretty neat. And I, I like the fact that they have some extra compartments inside of the bag to put some extra things. And I'm gonna show you guys a little bit later on some of the things that you can put in there. And they also have another compartment here. Here's another zipping compartment that they have where you can put some other items in here. Okay, so you have one compartment here, you have the second compartment here, and then there's another compartment on the opposite side of the bag. Okay, let me go ahead and show you. There's a third compartment there, okay? okay so in total, you have three compartments inside the bag, okay? And uh, you can put a lot of things in there. Okay, so without further ado, let me go ahead and show you guys some of the things that I would put in my bag, okay? The first thing, of course, um, you know, you have your pre-workout bottle or your, or your pre-workout or your, um, your protein. So I normally carry one of these, okay? And this is if I'm going to the gym. Okay. Put that on there, and as you can see, it hooks in pretty good. And I, I really like the fact that uh, this ring here is big enough so that you can actually attach different things here, okay? It's not a small ring, it's a pretty fairly good size ring and uh, like I said, I put my protein shake here. And then of course, some of the bottles that I also have have this little um, uh, attachment here and uh, I can also hook that here. Here's my pre-workout and here's my protein, okay? So that's what I use this little O-ring here for, this little ring here for is for my uh, uh, workout drinks, okay? My containers. The next compartment that I like to fill up is the little pads here. Um, I normally put my iPhone charger in here, okay, my cable will go in here, okay? And I'll also put my charger as well in here as uh, in the compartment there. So once I get that in there, I'll go ahead and snap it. And if, as you can see, it's not gonna come undone or anything. Any, nothing's gonna fall out or fall over. So like I said, the snaps on this are very, very sturdy. They're very strong. It's not gonna easily come off if you just kind of like pull it like that. You have to actually put a little bit of effort into getting it open, okay? Um, the next compartment here is normally what I would put. I, this is a iPhone 11R, okay? And of course, you know these phones are getting bigger and bigger by the day. And this pocket here on the bag fits the phone. So if you have a 10, 10X or 11, it's gonna fit those phones. So any phone that you have, whether it be an Android or an Apple iPhone, is gonna fit in here, okay? And I'll be sure to give you guys the dimensions of the bag once, um, and I'll put it in the description below so you can see all the dimensions of the bag. I know before people asked me about the dimensions and I never provided that. So that's something that I'll provide for you guys. So cell phones can go in here and I put my charging and uh, um, charger and things of that nature in the other pocket there. So that's a really, really good uh, thing to have. And uh, I, if that's what you wanna put in there, you can put whatever you want in there. Uh, the next compartment here, I usually like to put some hygiene products in here, you know, and you have two sides where you can put it on. So I have some soap here, okay, some bad bar soap. Okay, you can throw that in there, okay, and that will fit in there. And these are kind of like travel size uh, items. And then I have a travel size uh, toothpaste here, okay, and that can also fit in that little compartment here on the side. And as you see, um, I have two of these compartments, so good size and again I'll give you the dimensions of that and then for my toothbrush okay I have a toothbrush here all right and I'm gonna use that little velcro pocket that uh, I showed you guys earlier to put my toothbrush in there and it fits in that compartment really well so you can have your hygiene here your toothbrush your toothpaste your dental floss or your soap your toothpaste your dental floss and then you can put your toothbrush in here and that will go in that compartment well okay the other compartments you can put whatever you want in here you can put change in here uh, and so forth. So um, if you have any money or credit cards or anything like that, or you can put that inside the bag there and that will seal it pretty well. So what I'm gonna put in here now is uh, I have some clothes here, a couple clothes here. Um, there's a shirt. I'm just gonna show you guys how it all fits in there. And what I like to do with my clothes, I like to roll my clothes up, okay? And that way you get more room when you roll your clothes up in this fashion here. So, so everything rolled up and then I go ahead and insert it inside the bag. 
Okay, that's a uh, short pants. Here's some polo pants here, okay? The other ones were joggers. I have a polo shirt. Okay, Under Armour polo shirt, Under Armour polo pants, Under Armour joggers, Under Armour shorts. Everything is Under Armour, guys. Um, Under Armour underwear, okay? And I put all that inside the bag here. And I got some socks here as well. I didn't throw that in the bag. And there you have it, man. I mean, it's pretty uh, sturdy there. I'll go ahead and zip that up. Oop. So now I have my clothes in here. Got my charger in here. My uh, smartphone charger's in here. Of course, this iPhone uh, will go in this compartment. Now, I know you're wondering about this, right? This is really, really uh, an odd piece of material here. At first, I wonder what I can use it for. And perfect example here would be to store your pens, okay? You never know when you might need a pen you may go to the store after you work out, get some groceries. You might have to, you know, maybe you might meet up with a friend and probably forgot his number or her number and uh, you can use your pen here. And uh, I, I typically use this little compartment here to hold my pens, uh, pencils, mechanical pencils and so forth. So great for uh, holding uh, things that you may need to write with and so forth. So that's what I use that for. Okay. The next compartment here is, and let me unhook these bottles here. I probably should have used these, put these on last because these are gonna get in the way, but I'll put them back on once I'm done, is the top part of the bag, okay? And the top part of the bag has like a duffel feature in here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my shoes in here, okay? I have a good set of pair of Steph Curry's here. And uh, as you can see, this little compartment here has a drawstring, okay? And then you have a flap here, it's a weather, I call this the weather flap, so that when you put your shoes in here, they don't get wet, okay? so. You can throw your shoes in like so. And normally what I would like to do, I like to pack them in like this, okay? And then the other shoe, I'll do the opposite way, okay? So the other shoe will be going in on this end, okay? So I'll stuff those in. And once I get that in, the flap goes over and then I will pull the jawstring. And as you're pulling the jawstring, the shoe will sink down further into the bag, okay? And you wanna make sure you have that flap nice and uh, right over there. And you want to pull the jawstring together as hard as you possibly can. And there you have it. Okay. I have my size 10 and a half Steph Curry basketball, Under Armour basketball shoes in the top. So as you can see, it's in there. And I have the compartment sealed right over the top of it, which is awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and hook the water bottles, or not the bottles, back to my workout, uh, pre-workout. And then I'll go ahead and hook up my protein shake right here on the hooks. Boom, okay. And uh, the last compartment um, on this bag, um, they do actually have a compartment for your laptop, okay? So um, I have a 15 inch uh, MacBook Pro, okay? Here it is, I know it's kind of close up there. And I'm gonna go ahead and insert it in that little flap down here. Okay, and it will get in here a little bit. And there you go. Fits right in. A nice snug. Uh, yep, there we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and zip it up once I get it in. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. The laptop is fully in the bag. Okay. Push down. And I'm gonna go ahead and zip it on up. And there you have it. There's the little pouch there or the part there for the laptop. Let me go ahead and flip this around so it'll show you guys a little bit better. And here's the zipper here. Okay, here's the little pouch for the laptop. I went ahead and slid my 15 inch MacBook Pro into that pouch. Uh, you could put anything in there. You could put a Windows machine in there, 15 inch. Uh, fits it really, really well. You can even put a thicker laptop in there and it'll fit just as good as well. So that's pretty much it. And uh, we out.
that concludes today's video. If you like what you saw, please remember to comment, like, subscribe to my YouTube channel today. This is the Wise Bro. Peace, love, and harmony in 2020. And also be sure to pick up one of these Project Rock 60 duffel bags. It will not let you down and you'll be ready for whatever comes your way. So peace, you guys. And stay tuned for the next video. Bye.